Just want a quick video here to show you the distributive property, which is the expand part of the questions your math teacher asks with expand and simplify. When you have a number or a number or coefficient with a variable sitting out front of a set of brackets, and there is no plus or minus sign in between it and the bracket, it means there's a multiplication. This four bracket stuff means you have four of these and four of these and four of these. And I know to do that separately for each because they are separated with plus and minuses. So this four needs to get multiplied by the four X squared because I have four of them. I also need to multiply the four by the three X, the minus three X actually, because I have four of them and I have four of these positive sevens. See, all these things are in the bracket and this is our notation to say that we have four of them. So what I end up with is four times X squared, which actually is just four X squared four times negative three X, the numbers will multiply together. That's minus 12. And the letters combine as well, but there are no letters here. So I just write X and four times positive seven is positive 28. Nice. That's what I would call an easy example because you're simply multiplying each of these by four. If you have a number and a variable, a coefficient and a variable, you're gonna have to multiply this whole thing by 6x. You're gonna have to multiply this whole thing by another 6x, and this whole thing by 6x again. Now, I don't want you thinking that there's more than one 6x here. It's just that everything in here is getting 6x. 6x times 2x squared. The numbers multiply together. Six times two is 12 x times x squared, there is one x here, and I know there's no exponent on it, but if there, was, if there wasn't an x here, we wouldn't have even written it. So there's definitely at least one there. Well, there's exactly one. And we're combining it with two more. That notches the exponent up to three. That is 12 x to the three. Six times negative five is negative 30, and the x combined with that extra x is what gives you an x to the 2, or an x squared. 6x times 11, the numbers multiply. 6 times 11 is 66. Use your calculator if you have to. And x combined with nothing is just a regular x. Nice. This is us expanding across the bracket. Simplify, if your teacher's asking you to do it, is about collecting like terms. You'd look for terms or chunks here separated by plus or minuses that have the exact same variables and exponents. Here you have x3, x2, and x1. None of those are the same, so you can't combine any. Let's go. We got one more. 2x squared y. Whew, we're going to take that whole thing and multiply it by another 7x. Now we can do these one at a time if you'd like. 2 times 7 is 14. x squared with an extra x is x to the 3. And we have a y here. Oof. Now what we're about to do is the same thing again, but 2x squared y get multiplied by minus 5y. 2 times negative 5. Multiply the numbers to get negative 10. x squared with no x's here. So you're left with x squared, y times an extra y, you now actually have two y's, so that's x squared, y squared. See? And lastly, let's just keep color coding this. I'm going to multiply 2x squared y all by this minus 3. But the minus 3 only actually gets multiplied into the number. Numbers multiply by numbers. x squared, y combined with no letters here, x squared, y. Now again, even though they're all x's and y's, I have no like terms, because one of these is x3, this one has a y2 on it, this one has an x2y, but neither of these are x2y. No, this one looks similar, but that's y2, not just y. None of these are the same, 
no like terms to collect. All I did was expand. That's why I used them as examples. Congratulations for coming along this ride with me, and best of luck.